and compelling necessity. If I could jump in now, Prof, uh, could you tell us then what specific steps would you recommend we take to achieve this? Yes. I would suggest so many things through federalism. True federalism is absolute necessary. Yes. Now, what do we mean by true federalism? One, federalism is a union of governments, and you cannot government, you cannot you cannot have government without a constitution. That is a contradiction in terms. Yes. So each of the constituent units must have its own constitution. That was the way it was in 1960 and 1963. We must go back to that. Number two, you cannot have government without, without a coercive force to sustain its existence and authority. Yes. The government must have the power to enforce their laws. And when we talk about power, we mean, indep we mean independent power. A situation where the state governments depend on the, on the one one common police force is another contradiction in terms. All right, Bob. Uh, pardon me to jump in yes. here. We need to go to a quick break. Well, we'll be back and let you conclude your thoughts in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. It's our concluding moment now with Professor Ben Owanboise, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Prof, uh, could you then tell us, do you think that true federalism or going about this restructuring the way you're suggesting will really address all these agitations we see in different places? Oh, yes, certainly. Certainly. Now, what we mean by true federalism is that the federating units must have sufficient autonomy to manage their own affairs, to govern themselves in matters that concern them, them alone. That's what the agitation is about, self-determination. Self-determination does not mean independent government. It means the ability to manage and govern yourself in internal affairs. Once you have that, then you will have uh, satisfaction. People will be happy. And you must combine that with with reducing the powers at the center to the minimum. People are agitating against too much control. There's too much control from the center. And the control is choking. That's people want to be released from that choking control. Yes. 
and the control of the center is not being exercised with due require with due regard to the requirements of justice, fairness, equal treatment of all ethnic nationalities. Yes. Whatever powers are given to the center must be exercised with due regard to the requirements of justice, fairness, and equal treatment. Yes. All right. Uh, That's uh, what is behind the clamor. Very well. We appreciate your talking to us this morning. Professor Ben Owabo is a senior advocate of Nigeria. So there you go. That's the show today. We thank you all for your comments. Your tweets as well. Enormous today. Well, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Uso. I'm Neo Taigwe. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And happy birthday to you, Chamberlain. I'm Mao Kwehe Ogo. Thank you.